Okay, a little update on my front yard food forest. You can see it has been mulched. It's a pretty good thick layer of mulch all the way through there. There's a couple of patches I'm going to go ahead and keep filling in. My big mulch pile is now a little mulch pile. And I did go ahead and put in some medicinal herbs. We've got echinacea and arnica. There's one of the arnicas. There's another one. The other two seem to have died. I don't know if they got rained on really hard or what, but I don't see them there anymore. And echinacea. The echinacea seems to be doing okay. Might need to dig out their craters a little bit so they have some more breathing room. Here we have calendula and chamomile. Was direct seeded here. I'm not sure what sprouting chamomile looks like. I'm afraid what I see there is grass, which, you know, happens. But I'm afraid to pull anything because it might be the chamomile. And I just have no idea what the chamomile looks like. Here we have an evening primrose. Right there. And Ella Campaign, Tulsi Kapoor or Holy Basil, and Lemon Balm. So here's my Ella Campaign. There's a good one there. Another nice one. I'm going to have to dig this guy out and that little lady out so that they can climb up to the sun. That's the holy basil. Holy basil is doing great. Doing great. That's Tila. Tila, get out. Um, I got a lemon balm back there somewhere. Something's happened. I, it's either gotten covered over or it's died. So, then over here we have some marshmallow, wild indigo, and garden sage. And we've got four marshmallow plants. They have taken hold rather well. That's a wild indigo there. And another one there. And the garden sage behind it. And ever since I mulched, the uh, blackberries are doing a little bit better. So I, I, they must be a little bit happier. Maybe they were feeling too exposed. I'm not sure. And that's daikon radish. And that's a Harley. That's daikon radish there growing at the base. I got daikon radish in a bunch of places just to kind of help with the drainage. This is a very, very heavy clay soil. And that daikon should help break it up some i'm just gonna let them go and create those fast carbon pathways down slope um pole beans i got strings up and they are running up those strings muscadine is running up its little cane there at some point here in the very near future i'm gonna have to top the muscadines and train them laterally onto the wire. You can see the other pole beans are moving up here. I have other beans throughout the garden as well. Some beans there. I think these are called dragon tongue. Uh, bush style beans. There's a dragon tongue there that's thriving. And this is where I'm learning the most is uh, seeing how these different plants are acting even real close together, how this one is not doing quite as well as this one. And of course, I'm guessing this one's doing well because it has some help from the shade of the comfrey, some help from the shade of the apple trees. And these guys don't have that same relief from the sun. That's happening there too. You see that, that dragon tongue is is doing quite well. And again, I'm just guessing it's just gotten a, a little bit of extra help by having some shade over it. And some more daikon. I cut back my comfrey quite a bit recently. I'm going to dry some for tea and dry some for a salve. I've got a recipe for that. And I'm also making a compost tea with some of the chamomile, no, not chamomile, comfrey. 
See, it's in there now. And let me tell you, uh, it does not smell too good. It smells pretty uh, rank. So I'm hoping that that is what the plants want. Some rank compost tea. All right. That is the update on the front yard. I think my next little mini project, I'm gonna make some stepping stones. I make sure I keep my uh, access clear. We were talking about mistakes in the last video and I think that is probably the other big mistake is that I did not adequately plan access. So I pretty much just have three access routes. Access along the front on the grass, kind of a middle path through, and then access along the front edge. So that's another thing I'm learning. Anywho. See you later.